I kind of like the one where like he Michael Scott gets real offensive about like the 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 office workers versus the the warehouse workers and the risk of their jobs the 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 presentation they have to give for safety and he's going to jump off a building to fake a suicide to prove how dangerous their job is. He said, "Dwight, you ignorant slut." <laughs> But I do have another one more topic for us, boys. This one will be a little bit more funny, a little interesting. We all watch The Office. Do we all have a, a character in The Office that we feel that we resemble more, that we can compare ourselves to? And whoever you pick, I think we should also try to pick one for each other. Like we all should agree like, oh, no, you're definitely this person or you're definitely that. So, you know, we'll start off with uh, my boy Doe. Doe, who do you think you resemble the most in, in The Office? Who do you think you are as a character in The Office? Like, who would you be? And then we'll go around saying who would we think, and then we'll go back and say who we think you should be or are, actually. Yeah, I um, enjoy The Office a lot. I see a lot of myself and Michael Scott sometimes. <laughs> Just, the, this is an asshole um but like i'm definitely kevin i'm definitely kevin everything's hot i'm <laughs> everything is either sexual or it's not sexual it's like i'm either hot or cold <laughs> i would say kevin um i like uh who else do i like i like creed a lot but i can't see myself as creed but the old he's just he's he's amazing you know um but yeah kevin what about you guys? Creed has so many qualities that I think are actually kind of badass. He just doesn't give any fucks. He just does what does what he wants. He's also probably a murderer. There's that episode where he shows up to like the Christmas party and he's covered in blood and he's <laughs> doing this little like interview to the camera. He's like, oh, it's it's Halloween. That's that's fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That shit was weird. <laughs> he, he expected the office to be empty. Like he thought he was gonna like sneak away in there. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, I, I, I think I would say, um, ooh, uh, I would say Stanley. It's the one that that came to me, dude. When that clock hits five or whatever time, dude, I'd be jetting out. I'd, I'd be out. <laughs> Free pretzel day? Dude, I love fucking pretzels, okay? Like, pre fresh baked pretzels? I'm all about that shit. You seen that you know, guy on pretzel day? This is his favorite day of the year. I once was ostracized for leaving work right on time. Everybody was like, oh, why, aren't, why don't you want to chill with us after work? I'm like, like, nigga. You know how many video games I could be playing right now? <laughs> you know how many weeds I could be smoking? <laughs> He's like, I'm going to go home and smoke four marijuanas today, okay? Play the uh, Dino Crisis 2. He says, Pete, your coworkers ostracized you because you went home on time? Yeah, they were like, oh, we don't like David. He's weird. He just wants to run out of here after he clocks out. And I'm like, isn't that what everyone wants to do? Like, <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I start living when I leave this place. All right? I'm fucking a die. zombie. <laughs> I die when I clock in every day. <laughs> no. What about you, Tony? What character do you think you are? I definitely think I'm a mix of Michael Scott and um, Jim. Just with, the, like, the jokes and the prankings. Like, I think uh, I find myself coming up ways. I don't mean it, I don't really act out as much as I want to do, but I like joking and messing with people, and that's what he does with Dwight. So that's who I think I am mostly, Michael Scott and Jim, like a mixture of both of them. But that could be somebody I, else in your eyes, so. I definitely feel like I'm Dwight sometimes. Maybe even a Toby. Ooh. <clears throat> I fucking hate I can't, Toby. I can't fuck with them jams, man. I There's a lot that I appreciate about Dwight. I, I wouldn't mind if I had so, some Dwight qualities. Not all of them. Maybe not shooting off a gun in the office. 
Maybe not some of his weird misplaced ego. <laughs> Starting a <the> fucking fire. <laughs> Yo, that was that's one of my favorite episodes. That also ties in with the fucking CPR. Like, oh, Michael Scott's dumbass comment, which I know I would make. Like, he has no limbs. Like, was his life really worth saving? <laughs> like, that shit is so beast. But I find it some shit. I would say, like, is it really worth giving him mouth to mouth right now? Like, like, come on, he's got no arms, no legs. I think the I think the realistically I would I'm probably some kind of mix of like Oscar and maybe Daryl. I think yeah. I've got some of like the the not giving a fuck like I I check out sometimes because I just don't care either way in things. Aspects yeah, that Daryl has he's got some apprehension. Tre- my apprehension in answering was I was stuck between Stanley and Daryl because I have a habit of like being stagnant. I'm like oh, I don't really care that much. I'm content doing this and like this is my life and. I'm going to keep getting paid and, and instead of being more ambitious, you know what I mean? Um, I, I think that the uh, some of Daryl's trolling methods kind of line <laughs> up with my trolling methods, especially him and Michael Scott. He will teach them like zippity zop or something like that. He's like, I'm teaching him cool hip hop <laughs> language. <laughs> <laughs> that show's amazing. But um, yeah, let's go around and see uh, what you guys think. Who should be who? Uh, I guess we can save Dobie for last. I think so. Uh, we'll go with Mateo, who we think he is or should be. Why would we save Doey for last? I'm just curious about that. He wants to call him Toby. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. But, um, yeah, I think uh, Mateo not being racist or nothing like that. You are a mix of the uh, Mexican guy. I forget his name. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar, yes. And a little, for me, a little bit of... Uh, of Dwight because of your comments or, or the the information you'll spit out like or you know what I mean because Dwight has that shit where he just spit out random information so to me I think you're both of those two because like you're trying to work and if someone come and bother you you're like why the fuck are you talking to me type thing it's like get the fuck away from me Bears I, beats Battlestar Galactica <laughs> that shit <laughs> so that's what I would say I would say you're definitely those two combined I think I think Mateo fits a lot of of creeds. Um, <laughs> like I, creeds, a fucking weirdo in a lot of ways. I'm gonna say Mateo's a weirdo, but just like creeds personality, like he doesn't give a fuck about a lot of things. He's kind of like I'm just living my life. Like he just reminds me of like a hippie that just wants to do his own thing. He's he's in this place to make a check, but he doesn't give too many fucks about like. The, what the people want what like authority things like that and i i i, I feel like I, I get a lot of vibes from my tail like that i'm fine, uh, fine with that I, I i appreciate the hell out of creed creed cracks me the fuck up my favorite creed <laughs> moment might be when they were doing like the gay witch hunt and oh. creed is like creed's like i might have slept with the man we I went, I went to an amount of like i forget what what band it was but he was like, i went to an amount of like woodstock shows or something like that he's like Yo. and we had sex with all kinds of people in the mud some of them might have been men i don't know <laughs> yeah. that, that he's, like, is hilarious. he's like yeah you know i had slept with a ton of people and you know if a couple men slipped in there you know there'd be no way of me knowing i'm like what <laughs> he's definitely a character what do you think though i think you are andrew bernard Oh damn! Wait, hold on. Yeah. Where are Mateo? You think so, Mateo's Andrew Bernard? No, Tony. No, 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 no. Mateo. We're talking about Mateo. Where are Mateo, dude. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I gave mine up. Shit. Yeah, you did. You suck. I'll go next. Mm. So don't worry. But wh- who you think Mateo is? Mateo. Let me get clever here. Who? Who in the? That's okay. I, I pick would, the same one. I would say he is Robert California. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, say that he's more like Robert California. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. I, I oh, love man. Dwight Schrute, like trying to get all alpha with them. He's just like, I've already figured you out. And he gets so deflated. Like Robert California defeated him with like seven words. Like you, you think you know who I am? Robert California is not even my real name. I'm the fucking <laughs> lizard king. <laughs> <laughs> all right well go ahead though start with me yeah you're definitely andrew bernard a lot andrew bernard and i would say jim yeah because you love pulling pranks on people why would What's, you say he's andrew bernard um 
I would say that because he has his uh his ways. He has his bro, his very bro fratish frat bro right ways. Um but yeah, I, I definitely could see him being Andy Bernard. Just the so, songs at the end of the day. I want there to be a song played every time we leave. Closing <laughs> time. <laughs> I mean, I did play I, the guitar. I, I also think that uh, that Tony's Andrew Bernard. So I, I find it interesting that we, we both picked the same character. I think both like the fratish ways, the competitiveness, or he feels... His ego is so hurt by everything that, like, everything <laughs> oh, becomes a competition. Everything becomes a fight. Like, like we call Jim's that a shrewd. Even, <laughs> you shrewd yeah, it. Like, Dwight and Jim aren't even trying to challenge Andy, but Andy feels the need to, like, 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 oh, I need to, like, assert dominance over these people. And then later on, oh, when I was Andrew gonna, becomes I'm, the boss, this is the, the biggest thing. When Andy becomes the boss, he's, like, uh, like a parody of what a boss should be and i feel like that's how tony acts like tony thinks he's a boss he acts the way that a, he thinks a boss should be but it's not boss like it's just shitty i, I think Damn. him and andy have that in, in common hey man i'm just telling how it is you want to do this baby it's Let's gonna get it. tough I'm it's getting high in the kitchen. With it. I, go, I got i got i got my two for tony I, I'm, I'm gonna agree with Tony on the Michael Scott. I think that he said that he's got some mix of Michael Scott in there. Wow, you're right. He does. He's saying especially some shit. the fake firings. That's a Tony move. That would be a Tony move, 100 <laughs> percent right there. <laughs> uh, and the other person though, Pam's first boyfriend. That's where the broish, the competitive. That that's that's where it would be. Roy, Roy, Roy. from Roy. the warehouse. <laughs> No, yeah, I can see that. Roy is a uh, he got he, that man got played. That sucks though, but yeah, no, nah, I can he see get that. Played. Yeah, he did. His girls fall in love with some other dick. But Jim he should be a better man. That is he should he should have figured out the love languages and find out what makes Pam happy instead of just trying to hang out with the boys. He was Fox. too upset about those uh, those jet skis. Yeah, was that was weird. They, they just trashed that bar yeah. immediately. <laughs> it didn't even make sense. <laughs> Psh, psh. Yeah, that was ridiculous. That was like it didn't go his way. They just fucking destroyed the bar. That was yeah. Poor Richards. Mm-hmm. All right, Pooch. Let's see, now I'm in the hot seat. You're in the hot seat now. I'm I, nervous. Yeah. Um, I would say you're the uh, Stanley a little bit, but more so Michael Scott's boss. I forget his name. Um, oh. Uh, um, Mike w- Mike Wallace or something like that Wallace yes, something like that Richard Wallace is it Richard no oh, oh, like man. you come into work and you're like again with the bullshit like yo like like <laughs> like explain to me like like David the off- Wallace yeah David Wallace like like when when Michael Scott went to the to the, obviously his office he was like yo you're doing something. That's working out. Can you tell me? And then he did this whole thing when Michael Scott does like, I just forget where I'm going. So I just keep on going. And he's just looking at him like, bro, you're so fucking stupid. But I don't understand what it is you're doing. Like, that's who I Dude. say you are. Those two. And what he was saying was the best. He's like, see, my motto as a boss is that when it comes with the people, you never, for no reason, should you ever <laughs> even think about trying to do anything never and then it cuts he's like sometimes i just start talking and i don't know where i'm going and i just hope i find my way but <laughs> you're just like and did richard the david wallace's face is like what the fuck is this guy? you remember when i did that to you in real life though without even trying to do that shit to you he was like wait are you michael sky me right now <laughs> <laughs> Tony did it for like a ministry. I'm like, are you doing the Michael Scott thing? He's like, no, no, I wasn't. Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. I, yeah, maybe I, I'm I, David Wallace. So. I'd do the David Wallace. I'd, I'd give I'd give you the David Wallace. I think that's I think that's a good mix. And maybe some Stanley, maybe some uh uh maybe some Daryl. You got you got like a laid back vibe. I think sometimes you're like panicking under the surface, but you're cool as a cucumber <laughs> outside. <laughs> You know yeah, who I'll else trying, too? I trying. forgot. Oh, the the black guy that was in the man. He managed the warehouse. I forget his name too. Daryl. Daryl. Oh yeah, yeah. Daryl. Damn, <laughs> tripping. Daryl. That's also another one I would add to. So you could mm-hmm. be three. 
Right. Right. He becomes the second boss, right? Yep. <laughs> Forcefully, too, at that. the office. They're co-bosses. <laughs> Michael Scott went in there to have a couple of meetings. He was like, no. Or like he would just demand things. He was like, that's what we're going to do. I'm like, damn. Hey, that's definitely you. I think, <laughs> don't be mad at me, but I feel like you are half Dwight in the way that you want to correct and half Jan in boss bossiness. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think Damn. that's like a good miss. Mix. Damn. Yeah. Bucho yeah. should put a little tiny TV behind him. He should get a little flat screen for his wall. He could just stand there and watch TV. <laughs> I could just stay. I just watch TV for hours. That's one of the most stressful episodes of TV I've ever fucking seen in my life, dude. Yeah, yeah. The, the candles, the the toxic relationship. The, yeah, that that was a that was a terrible, terrible situation. He dips his steak in wine. <laughs> fucking, that's one like way to fuck deep it up. into the wine glass. Like, he goes for it. Like, <laughs> oh man. He said, what did I tell you about? What is it? Uh, what is he? Something what is with he his say? teeth. Yep. Yuppers? What did I tell you about yuppers? <laughs> is that is that the episode where he talks about how many vasectomies he's got into? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. That's that's so back and back and forth. <laughs> oh, my God. And I've been to a dinner like that one time. Not, not as no. toxic as that. But, like, one time someone invited me out, like, invited me over. Like, oh, let's, like, we're going to do a dinner. And then when we get there. They put the thing in the oven and they're like, yeah, I'll be done in like two hours. I was like, holy shit. Wait. Like, I got to stay here for two hours, then do a dinner. And then like an after, I was like, oh, my God, it was miserable. Wait, Doey's acting shocked. That was the exact barbecue here in Texas when y'all came down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yo, we got there. I'm like, yo, where's the food? He's like, we're still sous vide the meat. I'm like, mm. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're about to start up the grill soon. I was like, holy shit, we're gonna be here forever, aren't we? Yo, Cut Jimmy, to five Jim, hours later, <laughs> uh, Jimmy bought Jimmy John's, and they came in the truck. I've never been so envious of somebody else eating. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn it! Uh, and then the infamous onion rub. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Adam was rubbing the fucking grill with the onion. He's like, you know, you're rubbing all rub this onion all over the grill. But he's know? right though. Mexicans mm-hmm. do that a lot too. So that's not a he's mm-hmm. not wrong by it. But yeah. my fam my family always did that. My dad also brushed though. He brushed before he rubbed the onion. No, no, you gotta the brush. Grill. You gotta brush to clean it off a little bit. But then you hit that onion on it, you know. All right, though. Time for you. Go for it, guys. Don't let any any one person be held back, all right? I um I do think for the most part, right, you can be obviously the given is the fat guy, I forget his name. All these names pass me right now. I don't know why. Kevin. Kevin. Definitely a mix of Kevin with the mix of Almost like Dwight's girlfriend. I forget her name as well. She had the fucking cats in the cabinet. <laughs> like, what, what's her name? Fucking, Angela? Uh, yes, Angela. Oh. I can feel like you're definitely a mix of them two, for sure. Because, you know, she uh, she was quirky in her own ways. She loved her fucking cats. And you love your fucking cat, for sure. This guy's going to break my table. Um. So... But yeah, those are the two I would say you, that you are. So I, I, I think it's a combination of two characters, right? So I think you're a little bit like Ryan, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's <in> the annex. <laughs> um, you know the the the. You know, like always trying like a new thing, being hyped about one thing, and then you switch what you're hyped about the next day, and like like that 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 chasing things like a fucking squirrel thing. I, I could see the 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 similarities there. And then Todd Packer, dude, the oh. guy's a fucking horn dog. Yes, I <laughs> forgot he about to do Todd. Is fuck chicks and do drugs. <laughs> yeah, I take mine back. You're definitely him too. 
<laughs> Todd fucking pack. It's a rasp claim waiting to happen every episode. You remember when Todd took a shit? <laughs> He took a shit in Michael Scott's office floor, right? <laughs> oh man! Bro, they had to re-carpet the floor. <laughs> bro, that fucking show is classic, bro. <laughs> that shit is fucking hilarious. I I think Ryan's a good choice. Ryan is one of the ones I was gonna go for with Doe. I think I got three for Doe. Mm. Right, we, we're gonna do Ryan for the exact reason that Poochel said. Like he gets hyped, he gets, he moves on to something immediately. He's he's all over the place. Um, as far as that, we're going to do Toby, but we're going to do Toby only because I think that that Tony is Michael Scott and that, that relationship there, I think, I, think that, I think that plays a factor. Uh, and maybe Daryl, but or uh, not Daryl. Um, shit, you just said his name, uh, Stanley, but specifically party Stanley, like when they're in vacation, when they're on that, that Florida trip and he's in Yo. straight up party mode and he's just on his own time, just doing his own thing. Doesn't cheating give a fuck about wife. Oh, yeah, that's definitely. F- oh, he's yeah. cheating oh on his God. wife. That's right. I forgot he's about the, that. He's there with someone else. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I got to give myself somebody too. who's that. Uh, what's the girl that just be getting trashed and be wanting to fuck everyone? Oh, Meredith. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, why do I remember her name out of all of these fucking people's names? Like, yo, know, she gets trash. She walks around trying to fuck too. She didn't give a fuck who it is. Anybody that comes to her, she's down to fuck. Like, yeah, I can see that. She, she wears Kinda the like tube that. top on Casual Friday, and <laughs> she's like, she's like, oh, am I showing too much too much midriff? And she pulls it down and just pops out a titty. <laughs> No, no, you definitely got to pull it up. She pulls it all the way up and you see her vagina and shit. That's fucking, fucking funny. Actually, you know what, too? Like, I'm curious. What's the what's other? Because y'all know my favorite episode, the fire drill and all that. What's y'all favorite episode? It has to be the dinner party episode. It has to be one of my favorite episodes. The dinner party one is good. I kind of like the one where, like, he Michael Scott gets real offensive about like the 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 office workers versus the the warehouse workers and the risk of their jobs, the 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 presentation they have to get for safety, and he's going to jump off a building to fake a suicide to prove how dangerous their job is. He said, "Dwight, you ignorant slut." <laughs> Um, damn. So the 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 one that immediately comes to mind that that I love is when Michael Scott um he steps on his George Foreman grill in the morning. <laughs> He's got his foot in like some fucking some plastic wrap bubble wrap like, um, and then that episode's cool because like I think that happens. Dwight gets in a car crash. He gets he's, a concussion. He's got and a then big Pam concussion. And, Pam and um, Jim, when they go to the hospital, they find out that Pam's pregnant. So it's a, it's a, it's an episode that ha- it, they pack a lot into it. Um, Dude, my favorite gag from that episode is when he brings in the uh, the 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 property owner to uh, to talk, and the property owner is the dude in the wheelchair, and Michael Scott starts saying like something like, you know. We're not so different, you and I. And the guy's like, I'm just going to stop you there. And I'm going to leave. <laughs> I feel like I... Yo, that's why Michael Scott and me are probably one of the same, bro. Because, like, we just say dumb shit. All right, and I, I was wrong. They find out Pam's pregnant when her she, her ankle twists at the volleyball game. Not the mm-hmm. episode I mentioned. I don't know what the fuck I'm on about. Um, but another episode that I think deserves um, an honorable mention... And it, oh yeah, when they're doing the Michael Scott Paper Company, when they like split off, I love the episode where he, he's running around stealing all their clients, and the sh- Dwight gets a hold of Michael's book, like of all his contacts, and it has like all the color coding of like what, like all the the do's and don'ts, and and like it's just it's the information for Dwight uh, for 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 Michael, and it's like. You know, normally for this type of thing, you would see green as go, red as no, yellow maybe as like be cautious. But for 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 Michael Scott, it's like red means don't don't go there. Green means go ahead and don't and stop. Like don't don't say whatever you're planning on saying. I think he like, says like he says like 
Most of the colors mean don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, most of the things I'm putting in there is to tell me not to bring these things up. Um, so yeah, then and Dwight goes talking. around. He's like, hey, so uh, your kid's cancer. How's that going? And the people get so offended. And, and <laughs> Michael's like, yeah, they fucked up. Yeah, How is your was a- gay son doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, that what? shit is fucking funny, bro. What about that stupid fucking episode where they think they're being shaken down by the mob? That is oh, hilarious. It's a fucking pizza <laughs> joint. <laughs> they go to the fucking place. He's like, I take the gabagool. And, uh, and they're like, the what? You know, the gabagool. <laughs> Bro, the, what about the one, the, the funny prank that I like too? Is when Jim did the Christmas prank where he wrapped all his shoes like, oh, real funny, Jim. You wrapped everything up. It'll take me whatever seconds to disassemble it. He goes and sit down. There's nothing there. I was like, bro, that shit is funny. Those those two interactions, them two made the show for sure, I think, in my book. Like, they definitely, the jokes and all that, and then him training him how to be like an animal with the, the mints every time. Okay. You know, that shit was funny <laughs> the, to me. The- the derailments. Derailment. He, he deserves it. From your yeah. own son. <laughs> Hit him with it. <laughs> well, Everybody yeah, gets yeah. it. No one's free of the derailments. Um, yeah. No, no. That's definitely good. The 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 wedding episode is fucking hilarious, dude. Fucking Kevin's shoes hurt his feet. So then he's wearing the fucking Kleenex boxes. At the end of the day, he put his fucking feet in the ice maker. <laughs> like, the ice machine. <laughs> They're not hurting his feet. He, he put his shoes outside because he thought they would clean them or something. And they came and disposed of his shoes because they were so terribly stinky and That's gross. Right. That's <laughs> right. And he was wearing the Kleenex boxes, I think, because that was the only shoes he could find. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, yeah, that's fucking horrible. And then I, I, loved, I loved Michael Scott being feeling so offended that... Like he wanted to walk Pam down the aisle and, and, and she's like, no, like, like you're not going to do that. Like, and then they had him push the grandfather down the aisle. He got so offended when the grandfather stood up and decided to walk like the last few steps that <laughs> that Michael started pushing the wheelchair like in a fucking weird way. And then afterwards, he's commenting on how selfish the grandfather is, making the wedding all about himself. And it's like, dude, you're doing that. You're the piece of shit. <laughs> Bro, in, the, in so many ways, Michael Scott's a dick, but he showed a lot of like compassion. Like with Pam, with her painting, exp- like her, when she had the painting in that uh, exhibit, and he comes mm-hmm. like, yo, that's very good. How much I would like to buy? Like you. Like she, like she broke down. Like that's why I think everybody let Michael Scott get away with shit because he's really compassionate. And he actually loves his workers, even though he's fucking. Like that's what I'm saying. I can, I see myself liking. She know, went I'm, to go hug him after the he bought the painting, and he started yeah. to get a boner. And she's like, "Is there something in your pocket?" <laughs> no, he had a candy bar in his pocket. Candy bar. Yeah, oh, that's right. <laughs> he whipped it out quick. He said candy bar. <laughs> yeah. She thought it was a boner. They did our boy Andy. Real dirty in that show at the end, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his arc. Oof. They could Ugh. not figure out what to do with that character because first he was like a rage monster, and then he was like this campy ex frat bro, and then he became like honestly a pretty decent boss until he randomly decided to run away on a boat and then join America's Got Talent or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> Didn't he get shipwrecked yeah. or something? That's why he grew that beard. Didn't he have like a beard? Yeah, I- he was on the boat and he got lost or something. I forget what I forget what that entire subplot was even about, dude. He, was such a, he had he, terrible sunburn. The man was getting a- paid and not do shit, and everybody was like, "Yo, you're just collecting checks on all of us and bonuses and shit." They're like, "Fuck out of here!" Like they were they were breaking sales records. They were they were killing it. And he's getting all this fucking like awards and shit. And everybody's like, "Yo, why the f- man? Fuck this guy!" I ha- I have a huge crush on his girlfriend in that show. What's her name? Skinny She's uh, the girl. unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Yeah. A huge crush on her. Yeah, I forgot what her name was. She's the one that everyone went after because she was in like some like Daughters of the Patriots of the Confederate Soldiers yeah, ball the, or something. The debut the debutantes ball in Louisiana <laughs> or some it, shit Aaron. like that. It's Aaron. Yeah. The Aaron. Well, I think it was a pretty damn good episode today, the boys. The murder in Savannah. There's oh, which one is that one? Which one's that one? <laughs> um, when they they find out 
the company's they're getting mer- sold. Oh, yeah, The yeah, company's yeah, yeah. getting sold or something. They're trying to take their mind off. And they end with, like, a, uh, a, you know, they're in a standoff. Everybody's pointing guns at each other and shit. It's a ridiculous episode. Yeah. Well, as much as uh, I would love to continue beautiful day. I think that's all we have for today's episode, boys. Pretty good one. Got us some uh, relationships and all that. To all the subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that follow and like button. Don't be afraid to, uh, if you don't want to see our faces some days, you can just go on the audio section of us. We're on Spotify, Apple Music. Not on Pandora yet. I think we're going to give up on this shit by this mm-hmm. time. Podbean. No, any any source of music you guys want to listen to, just audio only. We have that. Like I said, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Don't be afraid to hit that like button, follow, share us, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you know when we're dropping these hot, hot fires, these hot videos. Put your started hates appearing in other people's podcasts now. Also, yes, we're, on, we're definitely on another podcast with our friend and fan of the show, Crystal Smith. And I got to tell you, it was an awesome show. You guys need to definitely check it out. She's on Twitter as well. Game Junkies. And I'm going to tell you, she's a fantastic host. Fantastic. Big shout outs to Crystal. Hey. Yeah, the episode that we're in goes live on Wednesday on the Game last Junkies Wednesday, YouTube though. channel. Huh? Yeah, last yeah, Wednesday. <laughs> it went live last Wednesday. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Sorry. At the time of this recording, it'll be next Wednesday, but it'll be last Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Your boy Pooch is going to be out of town, so we're, we're, this is a backup recording, all right? So yep. That's how much we love you guys, all right? We're, we're, just, we're trying to keep things going, keep things flowing, you know, keep pumping out content. And we're not actually giving up on Pandora. I don't know what the fuck Tony's talking about. That was a joke. I, uh-huh. We're waiting on that shit. It's taking forever. We're not actively doing anything. It's just in review. So whenever it goes live, it goes live. So like always, people, go one-up yourself. Peace. Peace.